I am going to explain the difference between duty cycle, frequency, and pulse width. These terms are often used together, they're sometimes used interchangeably, and they're often confused, but they have different meanings, and I'm going to take a minute and explain that. Now first, I wanted to just make sure that we understand the difference between a digital and analog signal, because all of these signals that we're going to be measuring are going to either be digital or analog. A digital signal is one that switches on and off or has finite increments. An analog signal is one that has infinite number of increments as it changes. So let's start with the analog signal. An analog signal could be a waveform of any kind where the voltage is varying or changing. It has a, an infinite number of different increments that it can change to. It's not just on or off or high or low, but it could be one, two, three, four, or five, or one and a half and two and a half and three and three quarters. And those increments can even be split smaller and smaller and it varies infinitely. A digital signal, on the other hand, is given a set number or a finite number of increments, typically on or off or high or low. So if we have a zero to five volt scale here, low may be near zero volt volts and high would be near five. And it looks like a square wave because it doesn't vary. There is no one and a half. It's either zero or five and nothing in between. So often we have an analog signal that needs to be converted to a digital signal. Whenever we, we're using a computer or a data acquisition device, we're collecting analog voltage measurements that vary. and They've got to be turned into some sort of a digital signal that the computer can recognize and interpret. So the way that works is like this. If this is our analog signal that's coming in, and it's a waveform that's varying like this, we would set up some kind of a rule or a threshold. And we might, we might say if this is zero volts down here at the bottom and this is five volts, so we're looking at a five volt scale, the threshold may be 2.5 volts right here in the middle. What happens is as, as this signal goes into the analog to digital converter, it monitors it. And as long as the voltage is below two and a half volts, it's considered low. So it moves along here at a low voltage until it reaches this two and a half volt point. And when it does, it immediately switches to high. And it stays high until it drops past the two and a half volt level again. And that continues. Every time, every time it crosses that 2.5 volt level, if it's above 2.5 volts, it's considered on or high. If it's below, it's off. In a very basic way, that's how an analog signal is converted into a digital signal that can be used. Now, let's take a minute and explain how we measure those signals, whether it's analog or digital, we measure them in one of these three ways. Okay, so if we have some type of an electrical signal, and it doesn't matter whether it's analog or digital, but we'll just start out with a digital signal. We'll use digital because it's most universal. There are three different ways that we can measure this signal. I'm not talking about voltage, the voltage level or amplitude, right? That's, that's obvious. We're always going to be able to measure that. But as far as its time, the time base, there are three ways we can measure it. One is in a percentage, and that's called duty cycle. We simply take one cycle, which is from here to here, and we ask ourselves what percentage of that cycle was this turned on for? And here it looks like roughly 50%, so we could say it was on for 50% of the time, and it was off for 50% of the time. And when it comes to duty cycle, we're simply talking about the on time. So this has a 50% duty cycle. I'll add a few more segments here. If I was continue to go down here, I can see my cycles are all staying about the same width. 
this looks like maybe another 50% or it's slightly wider. We could call this a 55% duty cycle, which would mean that it's off 45% of the time. This one looks like it's close to 50 again. But over here, we've got something that's much smaller. During this cycle, it looks like maybe it was on for only about 20% of the time, which means it was off for 80%. It's a 20% duty cycle at that point. So that's duty cycle. Now the other measurements are frequency and pulse width. Frequency takes these cycles that we just marked off and says, how many times did that happen per second? And that's measured in Hertz, abbreviated as HZ. How many cycles per second? So if we look at this, we would, if, if this happened to be one second from here to here, we would say, well, we had one, two, three, four cycles per second. If it happened that there were a hundred of those in a second, we would say it had a hundred hertz, or the frequency was a hundred hertz, 100 cycles per second. So frequency is measured in cycles per second. Duty cycle is measured in percentage of on time. And finally, pulse width is measured in actual time, usually in milliseconds. We're talking about a computer that's turning these things off and on, so it's usually quick, but it just is in time. So, of course, on a lab scope, our, time, our base across the bottom, the domain that we're measuring in is always time. And so if we were to come along here and say that this, this was 0.5 seconds here, and each of these cycles is happening at say one second, right? 3.5 seconds here. We would say, well, the distance between here and here, the distance between here and here is the amount of time that it was on for. And that is the width of that pulse. And if it's 50%, this would be 1.0 right here, right? So we have 0 0.5, 1.0, 1 1.5. The difference between here and here is going to be 0.5 seconds. That's the pulse width. Of course, we're usually dealing in much smaller increments of time than that, and so we're talking about a fraction of a second, so we'll usually measure that in milliseconds. But that's the, that's the way that we measure the time that the pulse was on for. Hopefully those all make sense, and hopefully that clarifies the difference between those three different terms. They're all different, different ways of measuring sometimes even the same signal. It is possible to have an analog signal, such as this, and also measure its frequency, how many cycles it happened per second. It's kind of difficult, though, to measure duty cycle because there is no defined off and on, unless we convert it into a digital signal. It's also difficult to measure pulse width because there isn't any defined pulse here. So, so frequency can be applied to an analog or digital signal, where the other two can only be applied to a digital signal. And that's, that's a brief explanation of the difference between those three and how they're used to measure signals. As you can see, we took one signal and we measured it three different ways, and that's entirely possible. So the question really is, which of these three do we want to measure? Your typical multimeter or lab scope can measure any of these, or if not, you can take the measurements that you make and calculate these things.